Hey, it's Coach Giz getting zone ready on the go. We've got a great start for our pro show. We've got a good first turn here. We're staying low, we're digging out of it. Now, probably the fastest part of the shuttle here, we got 10 yards to build steam, get ourselves ready for this second turn. Now, this is the one turn where guys typically slide, wipe out, lose a ton of time because they've built up so much momentum, they have a hard time redirecting. Here's what we've got to start doing in order to be able to hit this shuttle. We've got to keep moving. Let's not stutter our feet too soon, but we've got to start turning our shoulders in order to turn out of here. What can help with that? Setting up a cone as you practice this to allow your body to know, hey, I better stay low and I better start getting my shoulders skinny as I make this turn. We know we always have to turn back to the timer when we're doing this drill. Again, if I point my toe where I want to go, I'm in a great position for this. Realize that you're going to be hauling butt. If we can get ourselves starting to turn where we get a crossover run going now, it just helps me to point that toe where I want to go. Staying low is so, so important here. That's where the cone can help. Much like a receiver running their route, not wanting to drop at the last second to give that DB a cue. Look at the same mentality here. We've got that cone about three yards ahead of that line. That's where we start getting low when we start turning our shoulders. And again, don't worry about trying to be so short and, and cute and cutting every inch off. A lot of times that'll get guys popping up and they'll get a hanger right here with that lead foot and they don't get a great finish through the line. Stay low, go over the line if you need to, great angles, and you get out of that second turn like a cat.